Hey yo! What's going on? Are you stuck? No, nah, bro. We're, we're trying to find this cave piece. Oh, you're trying to find the shop? That's mine, dude. Yeah, man. Sure, and I. Where you at? I guess you're on the ground, dude. Yeah. Where you at? Uh, above, above ground. <laughs> above ground. Above you. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Above, above um, the icon. Yeah, get, get in, get down here, man. Hang on. Hello. Yo, yo, yo. Hello. Three cool. words. Ah, oh, there you are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't kill me, please, with that sword. I don't have anything. Uh, no, 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 that's so good. You're so how the fuck did you actually build down here? This is not. I know. Check it out. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. Honestly, I, right. So hang on. Be, be careful. Watch what I do, because I don't want you falling down. Run along the side like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. All right, mate. I got, I got my teammate coming. Okay, okay, nice. Are you guys? You guys want to buy from me? Oh well, yeah, we're trying to buy the girls do. Okay, this is it, man. This is the this is the underground outpost. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the underground. Oh my goodness, what the fuck? <laughs> you damn straight. Hold on, hold on. Let, 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 let me go get my uh, teammate's computer real quick. Let me go help him. Okay. I wanted to see this. <laughs> so did you know that you can actually place electricity inside of a cave? Yes, there is one cave in the entire game which is close enough to the ground where you can actually feed a wire from the top of the ground all the way underneath into the cave base. Today, I'm going to be taking advantage of this cave that not many people know about, and I'm going to be building an electrified cave base. On top of that, I'm going to be turning this little cave into a secret outpost, a safe zone with workbenches, vending machine shops, repair tables, research tables, and all the basic amenities that you get from a safe zone, such as the outpost. The only thing I won't have in here is, of course, the recycler. Either way, this is my journey of how I built an electrified cave base on Rustified EU main on Wipe Day. The busiest time to play Rust, the most hectic. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, I'm logging on the server. There's five people on the server. That's how quick I've managed to get on this server. It's just wiped literally about 10 seconds ago. All right then, first thing we need to do is we need to look at the map. We're spawned in. Oh, look at all this. There's going to be fresh spawns absolutely everywhere. Just spawning in. Look at this. <laughs> just the, look at this. I'm just watching everybody be born. You don't know who these guys are. That could be a massive clan member right there. This could be a solo player. Who knows? Right, the first thing we need to do is look at this map and we need to find a specific cave. It looks a specific way. Where is it? It's not there. It's not. It could actually be that next to the outpost. Don't tell me the cave I want to build in is next to the outpost. Surely not. Okay, the cave is in fact next to the outpost. All right. Buckle in. We're in for a rough ride today. We're going to have to take this over as quickly as possible then because I imagine that round here is going to be quite a sought after area for people to build. This door's closed. Is there nodes down here? I can hear a player already. Above the cave, I think. Okay. I need a stone node and all I'm finding is sulfur. Oh, this game. When you want something on it, it doesn't give it you. That's all I'm looking for. It's so... Because it, it's next to the outpost. That's why I'm trying to rush here. This could be somewhere where big group might want to live. All right, we didn't get very lucky on the uh, on the old nodes, which is fine. We can use the bucket to get out of the cave. Quickly go up top, see if we can find a stone node up there. This is also a pretty good part of the cave to live in, to be fair, because you get a bucket. Uh, crafting a hatchet now. Let's do this. Okay. I have enough. Okay, straight through here. In the depths of this cave, right here. This is the bit. This is the cave we need to take over. Perfect. It's not been taken over or anything. Right, building plan and hammers being crafted. But I think there is a player above the cave right now. So hopefully he doesn't come down here. Just one minute and we're good. So I'm going to build the tool cupboard in the corner over there. And that way, when we do finally finish the cave, it's going to take quite a lot to raid me. Because you're only going to be able to go through the doors. That's the great thing about caves. You can't raid inside the cave. You can't raid from the top or the sides because obviously it's all reinforced with this rock. You can only go through the door. So we'll see what happens there, but yeah. Tool cupboard is down. Lock is on, yes. I'm right here. Now, in order to make this cave base work, 
we're going to have to build another base on top of the cave, directly above where I am now, above the ground, because that's where I'm going to have the electrical base that's going to have solar panels and the medium battery. Then I'm going to feed a wire down from that base into the cave. So next step, we need to secure building privilege above the ground so that we can do that. So let's do that right now. We need to go out and farm more wood. But we've secured the main part of the cave. This isn't going to work unless we secure above ground as well, though. So that's why I'm kind of rushing to do that right now. Oh, f***ing hell. I'm dead. Damn it, man. Ah, I need a bow. That's definitely what I need. Hello, naked man. I think he's about to commit suicide in the water. Drown himself. Nope. Don't do it, mate. Don't do it. Listen. Don't drown. There's more to life. I'm here for you, man. No, don't die. No. Okay, what, are you trying to kill me? What's this, this bro? Okay, we need to get back over to that spot then. We need to run back over there. I'll try and farm loot along the way, and I'll try and get a bow because that's definitely something we need right now. Wait, are you the guy that just died? <laughs> Did you just spawn right here? No, you're not. Yeah. Yeah. I no, did. that's... No, okay, 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 okay. You want a rock fight? Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, man have fun playing yeah. the game. Let's have, go. Have fun. Thank you. Hello. Sharing is caring, man. Sharing is caring. We can both. Oh, oh. As soon as people have a bow, mate, on wipe day, I swear to God, it's a power trip. Look at you with your bow. I'm, 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 uh. I'm gonna farm a couple of the nodes around Bandit Town because it's a safe zone. Might be able to get a few stone nodes safely. Uh, having said that, there might be other people doing that because, uh, but let's have a look since I'm right next to it. May as well check it out. Plus, I don't get to see Bandit Town very often because uh, when I play on Restoria, they have the Bandit Town and Outpost combined, which I do like, but, you know. Sometimes it's nice to, to have it separated. Nobody's speaking at the moment. I don't know why. Smart. That's exactly what I was planning on doing. Just farming a little bit, you know, in the safe zone. Get it going. Risk-free. Problem is you don't get a lot from those. You get a lot from these trees. I'm not sure if these trees are actually invincible or if they get broken. Yeah, they do. Oh, my God. You managed to get a crossbow. You're a god. Nice I'm to meet impressed. you. Oh, wait, which quest? Hello. Is it here? The one where first you have to, yeah, you have to get like a vodka for a guy and then you need to collect 2,000 wood for him. No way. Like, Alright, thanks, middle. man. P cheers, mate. Yeah, no worries. I didn't know there was a quest that gives you a crossbow. I mean, that's pretty, pretty amazing. I'm going to do it right now. Everyone's got crossbows. <laughs> Look at this, everybody's going this is this has to be like the best quest giver. Hey, uh I'd like He's gonna give me the quest. I've lost something, okay. I've, uh, I think it's vodka that this guy's lost. Sweet, I'll go get you your vodka, mate. Where is it? Oh I have to like I have to walk out of the bandit town, so it's a bit of a risky trip, but let's just do it. I only have like eleven health, but YOLO. All of these people that are hitting trees, they're actually doing the quest, because the follow-up, like that guy said, is to collect wood. So, yeah, like, yeah, so they're actually hitting these trees for a reason. But, yeah, this is, like, insanely popular, I guess. So many people are at the Bandit Town doing this one quest. So, quickly go and get the vodka. Hopefully, it's a different spawn point each time and it's not being camped, this spawn point right now. Um, but it could be getting camped. It seems like there's some flashlights down here. So, I think all these people are looking for this guy's vodka. This guy's getting a lot of vodka. Okay, it's round here, the vodka. There it is. Got it. Yo, I'm just getting vodka, man. Come on, dude. Please don't kill me. Please, please, please. Thank you. Okay. Hello, mate. Quest right here. Thank you. Good job. Thank you for your help. No problem. Uh, can I help you with something else? That's what I'll prep. Um, he wants me to harvest 2,000 wood and return it back to him. And he'll give me a crossbow. Yep. Sweet. Sounds great. He gave me a hatchet as well. Nice. Okay, let's get... Look at all these people. <laughs> Everyone just has crossbows. Okay, let's start farming then.
get absolutely wrecked. Oh, this happens when you try and steal my tree. Okay, I think we've got the wood now to hand in. Well, I've got 2,000 wood. I think you have to harvest 2,000 wood. Uh, so I think I might have to actually hit one more tree. There we go. We completed the quest. I'm going to finish this tree off anyway, because why not? I do only have five health, and I am starving. <laughs> I am very much aware of this. I'll complete the quest, and then if I die, I'll be able to get my stuff back, because I'll die in the safe zone. Uh, if I had a little bit of scrap, then I could buy the... the this. The, you can actually buy food at the Bandit Town, so if I had a little bit of scrap, I would buy food. But yes, we completed the quest, um, and we have a crossbow. Hell yeah. So I might have to die right here, and then come back. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to die right here, and then run back. It's not far from the from the fresh spawn area. Okay, I spawned on the complete opposite side, so that doesn't help. I'm going to be one of those people that's drowning. Oh, fellow drowner. Hello, man. Good luck. Hello, brother. Yeah, good luck drowning. I hope you drink a lot of drowning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the timer off for F1 kill, please. Take the cooldown off. Okay, I spawned quite close. Cool. Heading over now. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hands are in the air. Hands are in the air. As you can see, I'm unarmed. Holy crap, thanks, man. What a legend? He gave me a freaking, uh, he gave me tools. Okay, there's a player here farming. I don't think he's got anything. Yes. <laughs> I got 80 wood. <laughs> I feel so proud. Oh, crap. Karma is in full force. That's what I get for killing a, a naked. I'll take it. I'll take it. If you can hit me. Look, I get it. I killed a naked. I feel bad for it. I deserve to die. <laughs> okay, I'm back at the bandit town, everybody. Um, we made it back. Let's loot our body. Get the crossbow that we managed to get. And then let's head back over to the cave. All right, hell yeah. I'm almost back at the cave. I need to build the base. I'm gonna build it right here, a base. Okay, we're good. Right, this is the base on top of the, this is the base above ground. TC's down. People outside. They're gonna camp outside, I reckon, these people. But anyway, I'm gonna wait it out for the night and then I'm gonna go back down into the cave and see if I can uh, collect some low grade along the way there. Okay, it's morning time. Hopefully, those guys are not camping me. Uh, I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna put a lock on the TC just in case. Good stuff. Hey, <laughs> what's coming me? Oh my god, what a noob. I mean, no. Take that back. Now they're a yoke ring my door. Oh my god, no. Hey, dude. I definitely Can't take that worry. back. Hopefully they get countered. That'd be great. I need a counter right now. That's what I need. It's gonna be a building block when they get through this. Oh, that much. Ah, damn it, man. Oh, man. Wipe day. Freaking a yoke at my door. I hope they don't live in the cave. I suppose we'll find out. I'm a bit worried now because I feel like my cave base might have been freaking a yoke raided as well. If they might want to yoke raid me so they can take that spot. I'm almost back at the cave. Uh, did those guys put a door down on my, on my base or did they just uh, leave? If they put a door down, then, then that's going to be annoying. It kind of looks like there is a door that's been placed. All right, let's see if they raided the cave then. Um, they might have Yoka raided that base because they... Man, I'm dead. Yeah. Ah. Okay, I'm crafting a furnace. We're going to go in the cave and see if we can get a furnace down and, and see if they've taken over the the cave. Okay, here we go. We're about to find out if they stole my cave. Oh my god. They haven't... They haven't stole the cave. Yes. Okay. Building plan hammer. 
Double wooden door. Lock. Let's go. We need to get this furnace down and we need to get a sheet metal door down as soon as, as and a lock as soon as possible. Okay, doors down, locks on. Furnace is going right there. Okay, furnace is on. Okay, we need to get the double sheet metal door down as soon as possible. I'm going to wait for... Oh, there's lots of shots outside. I don't know why, but... Okay, um... <laughs> I'll try and speak, but that's just quite distracting. I'm just going to wait here until there's enough metal to craft a double sheet metal door. Okay? And a single sheet metal door as well for this bit. Voice crack. Um, by the way, we're going to have to raid the base that those guys raided. The base above me. There's somebody building directly above me. There's somebody building a base right around here. There's the one by one that I built. Oh, yeah. Next door to it. There's a furnished base being built. Very nice. And this is the base that got raided. My base. I might be able to actually get a TC somewhat close to that base. Okay, so there's building priv nowhere around here. I can build literally here. I obviously can't build there, but I can take this back in a way. Yeah, I can do that. Awesome. Yeah, not, not, not yet, obviously, but... What was his name? Johnny? Let me guess. Johnny? Oh. Andre Drama. Ah, oh, yeah. That's Johnny Dramas. They're together. They're the guys that Yoko raided me. Just saying, it's been won a ton of times on this wheel, so it'll probably be one again. I wouldn't doubt it. It's gonna be 10, watch oh, this. And it hits other numbers sometimes. It was just 10 not long ago, I wouldn't do that. It was just 10 like three times ago, four times. Trust me. Something like that. Trust you? All right, I'm gonna trust you, man. I need something badly. I have like nothing researched. Ah! That's it, Told know you. your limits. Know it's your just limits. just been on a one streak. There's no point in betting anything. No, 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 come back, come back. I'm lonely. <laughs> Adios. Now, after having a pretty decent start, we've managed to take the cave and we've managed to take back the base that the Ayoka raiding guys took from me. All is going well. I even went to the outpost and managed to snatch a tier two workbench from someone's shop, which is nice. And by this point, it was getting pretty late on in the evening. And so I was starting to think about logging off for the night. I was in a Discord call with my two friends, Blizzard and Jennifer. We were just chatting around while I was doing some base chores, base organizing and things like that. So Cecilia. You're breaking my heart. You're taking my confidence lately. Oh, Cecilia. I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you, please. To come home. You're a hoe. Oh, now something crazy is about to happen. Whilst talking to Blizzard and Jennifer in Discord, I stumbled upon another base in the cave. Looks like we've got neighbors, but this base, it's not as secure as you might think. Holy sh Dude, dude, dude. I'm gonna scam. I need to share my, I need to share my screen for you guys right now. Check this out. This. Wait, this I hear. No, no, I hear a player. You copied my design. No, this isn't my base. I've just jumped oh. up here. You see that? How did you jump up? So you're just gonna be a creeper and not no, move? No, look, because I just heard a player jump in. I've, I've, jumped, I've, I've walked up to the base and I can, I can see inside. Can you get? Oh, in? you can't can get, you get in. in though? That's the question. Can I get in? Nope. You'd have to hint that. I have to get rid of, I'd have to, yeah, I'd have if to... you break that, you can definitely get in. Yeah, hundred percent. And then I can get all this guy's loot. He has a tier two and everything. Screw it, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tiered. do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, you could. So, uh, right, can I craft the pickaxe? Uh not yet. I need to research it. Okay, that's fine. I have two hundred scrap. Let's research it. 
Okay, I'll craft. Uh, I'll craft seven. Okay, I've got all the. the uh, I've got all the pickaxes. Let's go do this. Holy crap! I can't believe I just spotted that. That's mental. I should have brought some wood with me so I can potentially build. Ah, we should be. I should be able to jump in without anything. Yeah, it looked like you could spider man up. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe that. All of it's all open and they've got a tier two. Like what? Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> I definitely 100% have to break that donor. Yeah, 100%. Okay. Hopefully no one will hear me. Okay, that's not breaking. I'm going to have to go further down. You need to hit it in the center. Yeah, I need to hit it ideally like around there. Yeah, that's gonna be better. That's still not working. I almost repaired it. Could be because you're not like um For some reason, no matter how I tried to hit this ceiling in the middle to the side at a different place, it just wasn't damaging the ceiling. It could have been because the ceiling was attached into the cave and that could have been causing it to bug out. I don't know, but it just wasn't working. And we're about to have company. I'm gonna die now. How did that guy not see me down here? Killed him. Oh my god, I think he had a gun. Oh, oh, blizzard! Oh, jeez. He has an M2, he has an M2. Make sure you grab that. He like, shakes so much. I just heard the door open. He lives in that base. Oh, the base you were just trying to pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, yeah, I that's can't. In your base. I will. I'm up a floor, I think. Yeah, I am. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what the f? Do it. How does I he know. have an M2? Why does he have an M249? Find the cave base. I guess so. But I definitely heard the door open. All right, I need to try and raid this guy if he's got this loot in his freaking inventory. What's he gonna have in the base? Yeah. But 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 it doesn't make any sense that it would be that guy because he couldn't even find his own base. He 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 walked past it at first. Oh my god. Uh, right. Did I get the M249? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Send me out my rifle. Loads of meds. Okay, I'm probably gonna leave the call then, man. Alright, see ya. See ya. I hear a satchel raid going on. Okay, it's just me. I've just left the call with Blizzard. I'm investigating this further to see exactly what's going on here. Door camper, can you just f off? You made me lose everything, bro. Literally, F off. So we got company down in this cave, boys. And it sounds like the guy I killed lives in this cave. I don't know how he got all these guns, but there you go. He's got an M249, I can hear that. What? He's in such a small base. I don't know how he's managed to find two M249s. Because I killed him and he had that. And now he's got another M249. Like, another M249. So he's got two. How is that possible? Either way, my base is tiny. So <laughs> if he figures out that I live in this cave as well, I'm definitely going to be on his raid list for sure. Well, he's on our raid list though. I just need to farm loads of sulfur and research stuff. Hello, future Jordan here. It's currently 10 p.m. 
and I have to be at the airport because I'm taking my dad on holiday tomorrow. We have to be at the airport at 3 a.m., which means I have about two to three hours to get this video finished. So I'm just going to explain what happens over several hours of footage here. Basically, I went down into the underground tunnels, which is an amazing place for scrap, especially if you've got a gun. I killed loads of the scientists, which gave me enough scrap to research the satchel charge. After that, I went out in the snow and I farmed a crap ton of sulfur. This all took me several hours, but I want to brush over it quickly because I have to go somewhere. Me and my dad have never been on holiday together and I'm taking him on holiday and it's all thanks to YouTube basically. So while I'm here, I just want to say thanks to you guys because I get to travel with my dad and that's pretty awesome. Okay, back to the video. Made it back to the cave. That was a very long little trip there. I went all around the snow and I managed to get 10,000 sulfur. So yeah, I think uh, we're good on that front. I'm gonna go and trade in all of my stone for wood and then I'm gonna craft loads of furnaces and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get all this sulfur smelted and ready to be made into satchels. I've crafted 16 satchels, just crafting the final two now. I'm gonna go. That's enough to get through, uh, like, four doors or something, which I am confident that'll get through. That'll get us where we need to get, basically. So, um, on that note, freaking YOLO. Let's go do this. Let's make our way down into that bottom part of the cave below us. Right, then. Here's the base. Let's just start throwing. Through the first door. Okay, we're inside, boys. Doors down, locks on. We're safe. We did it. Oh, okay. Where's the freaking M249? Oh, where, where's... Okay, let's see what's inside the tool cupboard. Not bad. 125 high qual. One bean can there. Okay, where's the player I'm looking for? I don't even know if he's... The player I'm looking for doesn't seem to be... I, okay, there's three of them. There's one player missing. Oh, wait. Is that the code? Is that the code? Hang on. Let me put this tool cover down. <gasps> it is! <gasps> oh, my God. Okay, I got the code. Oh, furnace. That furnace has got 3,000 sulfur inside. And that's just... There's loads of charcoal and stuff. Is there a player? Oh, there's, there he is. There he freaking is. Beamed by a beamer. That's the guy we're looking for. Right, where's the M249? Okay. Uh, there's more stuff up here which we've not explored. Two furnaces at the back here. Another box at the back. There we go. There's the M249. <laughs> what else has he got? He's got ML, he's got three ML, MLRS, uh, MLRS rockets. He's got a rocket launcher. I found the missing piece to the puzzle. There's the M249. Hello, beamed by a beamer. Goodbye. Sorry about this. Now we've got two M249s. <laughs> Made it back to our base, which is, by the way, uh, pretty uh, scuffed would be the word to use. We're definitely due a base upgrade. <laughs> My little base above the cave is now generating electricity. So I've got the uh, battery right here. We're gonna take this wire and we're gonna feed this down into the cave like so. And if we're lucky, it will just about reach down into our cave. Watch this. There's no surface yet. Here we go, there it is. Yes, it reaches my friends. Power in. We have electricity being fed into our cave from above the ground. Mm. 
Now after adding electricity to the base, I stumbled upon two new Rust players that seemed to be having a bit of trouble. Yo, chill out, boys. What's going on in here? What the hell? Is this a trap or a what? What? Boys, hey! How you doing? You live here? No. I'm gonna have to kill you then. What? Now, whoever owned this base, I actually saw them previously in the wipe. It was two newer Rust players, and they built this new base near Outpost. What seems to have happened here is a group of players have gone fully deep on these new Rust players' bases and taken everything. Now, obviously, I took loot as well, but they were pretty much done at that stage from the sounds of it. Either way, these new Rust players got screwed over. And that gave me an idea. I'm gonna build my very own safe refuge. My own safe zone, my own outpost, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna do it in the cave. I've just come up with an idea that's really cool. I want to build a safe zone inside the cave. If any random player manages to come inside this cave and they find my base, I want that I want it to be a safe zone down there. It's a cool idea. I'll have auto turrets set up. I'll have loads of cool stuff down there. Shops, you know, you name it. I think it's an awesome idea. <laughs> I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to have a safe zone in a cave. It's going to have shops. It's going to have repair benches, workbenches, etc. And it's going to have auto turrets to keep people safe. This is the cave so far, everybody. I'll quickly show you. I've got a uh, wooden door there that says I am friendly, funnily enough. That's probably one of the best wooden door skins. I won't be here for the whole wipe, basically. But I can leave a legacy on this server. I can build a safe zone in a cave, a secret safe zone. This is a sick idea. Welcome to the secret outpost. We have a dance floor. We have a tier two workbench, a repair bench, an auto turret with an M249 inside. We have a tier one workbench, loads of cool lighting and stuff in here. Uh, I'm also gonna sell some items in this shop just to help people out. It's officially open. I'm right next to the outpost as well. So this makes perfect sense. We are literally the basement to the outpost. So, Players, just, I'm going to have these doors open. So you can't actually hear the music right here. You see that? Only when you get really close can you hear the music. So it is very secretive. And only players that actually come down here and explore this cave are going to find the little secret outpost. The secret safe zone that I've built. Let's imagine that you've just entered into this cave. You're coming down. You're doing some farming. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, we're just going down the cave, trying to trying to be discreet, trying to not get killed by people shooting constantly. It's a very hectic area. You know, what would be really great right now is if I could just find a workbench. Okay, imagine that. Well, you know what? You're in luck because here we go. We have the underground outpost. <laughs> just imagine a fresh bottom finding this. Enter inside, 
and everything you've got is in here. We've got an auto turret for protection, which we have a research table, we have tier two workbench, tier one workbench, we have a shop where I'm gonna sell some items. We have a dance floor as well, in case you fancy a bit of underground. It's a it's a it's a safe zone slash club. Let's say it's currently Monday on Rustified. The server doesn't wipe until Thursday. So this is just going to be here for four days. And hopefully lots of people stumble upon it and find it and have a good time. Manage to get things done. That's the main thing. Okay, I'm going to start selling stuff in the shop down here. Let's do like 300 stone for one door. That's super cheap. 300 stone. In fact, let's do, let's do much cheaper than that. We want to make this as cheap as possible. 100 stone for a sheet metal door. Ah, uh, no, 200. There we go. We'll do furnaces as well. 50 sulfur will get you a furnace. And finally, and a bow. In fact, we'll sell crossbows as well. Now, I waited around in the cave for about 40, 50 minutes just to see if anybody would stumble upon this randomly. Unfortunately, nobody did. So I decided to make the shop public. I was selling garage doors for really cheap prices, so I knew that I'd attract people to the cave that wanted a garage door. I was literally selling garage doors for 400 metal ore. If that's not a good deal, then I don't know what is. And of course, naturally, we found our first customer, and it's their lucky day. Welcome to the underground. Oh my goodness, what the? <laughs> You're damn straight, man. Hold on, hold on. Let, 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 let me go get my uh, teammate's computer real quick. Let me go help him. I want him to see this. <laughs> He's coming, he's here, he's here, he's here. Yo, welcome wow. to the underground wow. outpost. Hello, 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 hello. Wow, hello, 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 hello. Okay. This is the underground outpost. And actually, I've got a present for you guys. Wait, since you're my first customers, let me, let me get the present. Where'd your friend go? He's logged out. LinkedIn, his PC crash. Give him a sec. Okay, cool. Are you from South Africa? Uh, yeah, cut up. Oh, ho, ho, nice man. I'm gonna give so, these. Sorry, man. Give him a sick while he's logging in. I'm gonna give these guys an M249. The best weapon in the game. I mean, they're my, they're my, first, they're my first customers. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've got that. Or if you need it for that door, would be great. Sweet. There's a shop there. You can just buy it from the shop, mate. Uh, it's right there behind you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing that. Great. Very nice. Uh, okay, we'll be back for more. Uh, he, it, it's crashed. If you don't want him there, I've taken his kick. You can just off him. Take and this, uh, mate. you'll this respawn you. at our base. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, it's the best weapon in the game. Are for you, you sure? Yeah, man. Just don't you, die. You're shitting me. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, wait one sec. I'm going to give you some armor yeah. so you don't die. Okay, here you go, man. Um. Thanks so much, man. It's all good. Thanks for coming down to the underground outpost. I took some... Uh, I will be back. Listen, I took some screenshots. I hope you don't mind. This is gorgeous. Yeah, no worries, man. Go ahead. And uh... Thank you. Just off him and we'll be back. All right. Sounds good, man. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, man. Cheers. And there you have it. That concludes today's video, but the cave will live on. This cave will still be on the server for another three days. I'm sure many people will randomly stumble upon it, and hopefully my shop helps out a lot of the new Rust players as well. Now, the time is 11 o'clock. I'm pulling an all-nighter, and then I'm flying to Iceland with my dad in the morning. As I say, we've got to be at the airport at 3 a.m., which is in four hours. I'm going to get this video rendered, uploaded, and uh, ready for you guys to watch while I'm gone. Thank you you so much for all the support and uh you know what it's always fun to try and build different things on this game always have a blast doing it i'll never get bored of rust it still remains my favorite game i hope you guys are enjoying the new pvp update and on that note i'll see you in the next one take it easy everybody if you want to follow me on my iceland journey feel free to follow my instagram link is in the description have an amazing week have an amazing weekend peace